Hey everyone! Today I'm talking about N Plus, the second season. About one and a half years ago I talked about N Plus uh, in one of my videos and it's actually my most popular video to this day. Well, the second season is coming, uh, which premieres this Monday and I've been able to watch the first four episodes so I can tell you a little bit about it. In this review I do assume that you've watched the first season, if not go and watch it now. It's available on their YouTube channel, uh, there are English subtitles, Spanish subtitles and Portuguese ones, so you should be able to understand what they're saying. I won't give away any spoilers in this review, so no worries. So where are the creators of M Plus taking us in this second season? Because the first season it was all very clear beforehand what was going to happen. There were going to be six episodes and in every episode they were gonna talk about one relationship of Anna, which is why it's called N plus, the plus one. So they've done that and then at the end there was a big opening for, you know, a future story. So that begs the question, what did they do this season? Well, season two starts off with Anna being 24, having a job at a creative agency, uh, she has a girlfriend, she has friends, she has her own place in Amsterdam, but something isn't quite right. She doesn't really know what she wants with her life and she's distracted a lot. And at one point an ex shows up on her doorstep and at that time she's already having trouble with another ex and there are bills coming in. So basically the question is how will I be good at adulting? Uh, yeah, that's the storyline of season two. One of the things that I really like in this series is the diversity of the cast. Um, all of Anna's exes and friends, they are all from different backgrounds. There's also a transgender character in this season, but I do think that the focus is a lot on, on his tra transition. But I do think that this project handles it better than other projects because usually you only see like the really sad parts of the lives. This is a really strong individual and he draws strength from his transition and he clearly sets his boundaries. So I think that's, that's a positive note, but then again, I'm... Uh, why it's this gender woman, I don't know. Maybe you experience this diversity differently, I don't know, but that's, that, that's my take on it. What I also really like about Anna Plus is that Anna has male friends. And a lot of lesbian productions, they revolve around women and only women. And there's a lot of resentment against men, but yeah, there are men on this planet and we can be friends with them. Uh, we don't have to hate them. Some of us don't, you know, so I think it's really refreshing maybe not that there are male friends in this series. One nice addition to this cast is Laura Gomez and you know her from Orange is the New Black. She saw the first season of Anna Plus at the Tribeca Film Festival in New York and she said I want to be in season two and here she is. She, I, I've watched the first four episodes and in the preview for the fifth episode I saw her at a wedding so I don't know if she guest stars in that episode only or if, or if she's in more episodes but at least you now know that she's you can see her in episode five one thing that Anna Plus is really good at is humor you it was already in the first season but it's definitely also here in the second season um, the biggest way they add humor to the show is by adding Anna's thoughts you hear out loud what she's thinking the moment she is uh, experiencing it in a scene and I think this direct commentary on what is happening around her is very relatable. In a lot of moments, she's saying exactly the opposite of what she's thinking in her mind. And you do that too. I know you do. I know I do. But also they don't, what I like is that they also show positive effects of what you, what happens when you do that. Because it's also about, um, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone and learning things. So it's not only humor, it's also good for the storyline. And the final thing that I want to talk about is that I like that they give Anna an edge. You don't always like her, you don't always agree with her actions or what she says, and that's okay. Sometimes she has an outburst when she's with her friends and it's not nice to watch, but you know where it's coming from. And you also know that in real life, you two are not always as reasonable as you should be. And your behavior sometimes isn't that very nice to other people. That makes the storyline very relatable to me and uh, it's, it's why I want to watch it. Uh, I want to 
know what she's gonna do in the rest of the season. So where can you watch it? Well, if you're living outside of the Netherlands, you can't watch it for now. It's premiering this Monday in the Netherlands. I know that they they have just done the international release about one and a half months ago. So I don't I don't have any information on one on when you can watch it outside of the, the, the yeah the Netherlands for now. So I suggest you follow them on YouTube and other social media platforms so you'll be informed of when they will yeah add subtitles and release it for the for the international people. If you like this review, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because that really, really, really helps. Also, you can donate me a coffee or more on my coffee page. The link is here and uh, that helps me to buy new vlogging equipment. Thank you very much and I hope to see you next time.